Hey, I'm Brian Cohn of Beacon Knives. Today in the shop, we're going to be making some keychains out of some scrap Damascus steel. Let's get going. The first thing I did was cut out the scraps into keychain shaped objects just so that they're a little bit closer to the final shape. Then after that I jumped over to the drill press and cut in quarter inch size holes. Um, that just gives the keychain something to hold on to so that you can actually fit this thing on the keychain. This one right here actually helicoptered on me which is always very scary. Please go ahead and take proper precautions when you're working on a drill press. All right, so now that I have a quarter inch hole cut into all of them, let me tell you about the podcast that I listen to when I'm here in the shop. So there are quite a few. Uh, one of my favorites is the Hustle and Grind podcast. It's a podcast put on by Jason Hartwell and now Pickle Cutters um, is the co-host over there. There are some great guys. Um, go ahead and check out the Hustle and Grind podcast. And if you want to see more or hear more from me, check out the uh, Work For It podcast that I do with Brian House and Ben Butler. They are two fantastic gentlemen that join me. Well, I guess I join them. Um, and we talk about metalwork. Uh, basically, we just talk about anything that you can do in the shop. If you're a maker, you will love those two podcasts. Go ahead and go check them out. So, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is to stamp in my um, my Maker's Mark stamp into the face of them. So I'm going to go ahead and light up the forge. Hot stamping the Maker's Mark is always a process that worries me a lot because there's no good way to fix a bad mistake. You have to make sure that your stamp is lined up absolutely perfectly and that you hit it perfectly square. I'm going to go ahead and take this moment to ask you guys to please subscribe to this channel. It would help my small business a lot. If you jump up down into the bottom and hit the like and the comment, I would really appreciate every single one. Thank you guys. Now that we have the stamps in, I'm going to grind them up, kind of give them a more regular shape. Some of these are kind of ugly. I'm also going to grind around the hole itself to make it so that a loop can go around there pretty easy. So let me go ahead and jump on the grinder. I am told quite often from potential customers that they'd love to support my small business, but don't necessarily have the funds to drop on a knife like I make. These scrap Damascus keychains are a fantastic way to use up your scraps and to make something that is relatively inexpensive that people can buy to support your small business. I really appreciate all of the support from everyone who purchases something from me, and I will be putting up more of these keychains up on my website. If you would like to purchase one, check out BconeKnives.com to purchase one for yourself. Now that I have them all ground down to the shape that I want, let me go ahead and get them ready for the ferric chloride by going up through all of the grits and smoothing out all of the surfaces. Time to get them out of the coffee. All right, so they look really dark after soaking in the coffee so long, but once I get them all cleaned up and shined up, oh man, you can start to see that pattern already and I'm gonna make that shine. I went ahead and finished these off by putting a little metal ring on there just so it's nice and easy to attach them wherever you wanna put them. And I am so happy with how they turned out. The Damascus is nice and poppy. It's really cool looking. And I think that this is a fantastic way to support my small business without breaking the bank. 
So the Damascus ones um, are going to go up on my website here pretty shortly, and I will have more as I make knives. I will have more scrap to make these things. Um, I will also be making them not only in Damascus, but high carbon steel, possibly copper, brass. There might be a couple different um, iterations of these things. So if you want to collect these things, that's a cool thing to do. And it, it they will all be at different price points so that there's a couple different options of how much you want to support me. Thank you all for supporting me. I really appreciate this. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Check out my Facebook, my Instagram, and my TikTok. I have a TikTok channel. So thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day.